you did. How are you? I'm fine. You're looking beautiful you. today. Thank you. Okay, you can you introduce yourself and tell us a bit about what you do? <laughs> My name is Judy Fakuta Ajayi, aka Blue Lips. <laughs> I am a Nollywood actress and a model. Oh, fantastic. So, um, in terms of the um, UK Nollywood Producers Guild, mm -hmm. tell us about your involvement with that. My involvement with the um, Producers Guild is um, I'm so passionate about what um, the UK producers are doing. Mm -hmm. Although that I'm not a producer, I'm hoping to be a producer at yeah. one point. But at the moment, I'm just studying the market because um, what I tend to find out is that a lot of film is being produced, but mm -hmm. it's not actually crossing the red carpet after the red carpet so i'm more like a businesswoman as well so i think more about business rather than just doing it for the sake of it so that's why i'm getting involved learning what they are doing and from there hopefully i'll be able to make my own projects. hopefully to make things better as well in the exactly, industry exactly yeah because oh, you know great. i want to come out and make a difference i don't want to mm. do something for the sake of it yeah because i'm thinking more business mm. rather than i just want to do it okay so tell us a bit about the movies you've made or the movies you've acted in, rather. Okay, so we just finished um, a TV series. Okay. Um, so, Maze of Docklands. So, at the moment, it's still going through the final stages. Mm -hmm. That um, film, I had um, a major character whereby I was the girl about town. Okay. And um, I'm a very, very jealous person. And um, I had a boyfriend as well. I'm always on his case, keeping an eye. Yeah, that film is going to be big and it's going to really make a difference in the diaspora. Oh, because, good. yeah, it's, it was produced by the um, Athos Guild. So it's okay. like a whole bunch of knowledge that came together oh. to actually do this film. And when is that coming out? We are hoping that it's going to come out by end of this year, early this year. So, yeah. Oh, good. Yes. That's so, great. so tell us about the UK Nollywood Film Festival. We know that that's coming up soon. Um, what are your expectations? I am so excited about okay. the festival. It's going to be the first one, the first of its kind. I thought I need to get involved with this because this is history that's going to be made. Mm -hmm. It's never been done before. So I'm part of the committee mm -hmm. and as a committee member, I'm involved with the strategizing, planning on how it's going to be effective. Okay. Yeah, so that's my involvement in it. So what would you be saying to somebody watching right now and they're sitting at home thinking, why should I come to this festival? What exactly is going to be in it for me? If you're sitting down there watching, thinking, I haven't got my ticket yet, I'm just wondering if it's just going to be one of those things. No, this is going to be different. First of all, it's the first time that it's going to be done in UK. And is this um, leaders of the um, producers came up with the idea. Mm -hmm. So, and people that are involved are very, very knowledgeable people yes. that want to take Nollywood to the next step. That's why I got involved. You need to get your ticket because um, it's, there's going to be a lot of films that will be shown that day. And also for people that are acting as well, yeah. there's going to be a lot of education. Since I've joined Nollywood, because I'm really, really passionate about it, and I really want to give it my best, I've actually been to acting school. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because when I do something, I want to do it well. Okay. So um, after the first film that I was involved in, um, which is um, Max's film, after that, watching all the actors and all the good job that I thought, I want to be like these people. I just mm. don't want to be like them. I want to beat them. Mm. That's <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent my time mm. and I went to acting school and I'm quite grateful about what I've learned as oh, well. Good. So come, come and support us. Mm. What we are doing is something good. Come and support the community. The other people from the other ethnic um, group, they've been doing the festival in the mm. UK here. That's true. So now it's coming to be done by African people. Come and support your own. Mm. Even if you're not from Nigeria, come and support. If you want to be part of Nollywood, come and support. Stop criticizing what Nollywood people are doing because it's an industry that is growing. Mm. We need you, if you have some knowledge, to come in and educate us. Mm -hmm. Let's build a stronger platform. Yes. And together we can make it. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much for that. So my final question is, what has been your challenges as an actress? I mean, if you're, you know, you're speaking to somebody that is thinking, no, I want to get into acting, um, but I'm not sure how to go, out, go about it, or what would be the challenges in, in the industry, what would be your advice to them? You know, bearing in mind the challenges that you've had as well. Of course. 
if you want to be an actress, I will say, just go for it. Yeah? A lot of people are going to tell you, you cannot do it. That's normal. If you're going to do something and people are not going to criticize you, you have not started. Mm. So you need to have a tough skin. Mm. If you are somebody that is not strong-minded, you can't do it. Because mm. trust me, people are going to be, kick you when you're there. You have to be determined. And they will kick mm. you in front of you. They will tell you that, listen, you are rubbish. Mm. But if you have a goal and you have something that you want to achieve, mm. and if you are determined, yes. there's nothing that you cannot do. Mm -hmm. I'm a typical example. I joined Nollywood about two, two and a half years. Wow. And since that time, I have been in 20 films. Wow. Seriously. That is a lot. A exactly. Why am I doing that? You need to have the right attitude. Yes. You just have to be focused and just block your ears and just do it and do it. And also, I'm branching into modeling at the moment as a plus size. That's great. Yes, so that is the next thing that I'm doing as well. And I'm involved in a fashion show. I'm actually mm -hmm. going to be doing catwalk modeling catwalk as well. Oh, that's good. Yes. So on the 16th of September, that will be my first one. But I did not say to myself, I did not have this period. Because mm. I'm passionate. That's what I, what I really, really, one of the I things that I've got in my list of what to do. Mm. <laughs> I went to the audition and I made it and I was selected. So if there's something that you really want to do, just go for it. If you don't try, how are you going to know if you're yeah. going to get selected or not? That's true. Was it the acting first before the modeling or the modeling acting before? Fast. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. That's yes, great. Yes, that's yes, great. yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. You've been fantastic. You're welcome, Thank you. my dear. Thank you.